Hey there, and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Casey, and this is Lauren, and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today, we're combining some of our favorite flavors to make one delicious treat. Yes, we are taking a trip to the tropics with yes. these tropical muffins. You feel the warm breeze. Yes. Oh. Oh, we're on a beach. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yes, so to get started, um, we have two very ripe bananas. I'm going to start mashing these. One of the things I like about this recipe is we've kind of cut um, some of both the sugar and the fat um, and added some other ingredients to kind of make up for those. And these bananas are one of those. It really adds a lot of sweetness so we don't have to add as much sugar. Yes, and it still offers a lot of those great tropical flavors that we're going after, and you'll see some of the different things that we're adding that make this a uh, very tropical flavored muffin. Exactly, and one of those ingredients is we have fresh ginger root, or root, however you want to say it. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to grate some of that into our bananas. And fresh ginger we would really recommend using in place of like a dried ginger in this recipe. Yes. Um, it just offers a whole different flavor profile and it's a lot stronger as well. Can you smell it? Oh my gosh. So <laughs> good. We love, love ginger. So really it's up to you and how much you like to add. When we tested this recipe it wasn't quite gingery enough for our flavor profile. Right. So we upped the ginger a little bit. Um, but if you're not a huge fan, of course you could leave it out. Um, or maybe just add in a little bit, see how you like it. But we love ginger. Yes, we mm. do. <laughs> All right, while you're finishing that up, yes. I'm going to move on to creaming together our wet ingredients. So we're starting with just a little bit of softened butter. Add my spoon here and get this out. And we're going to add in some applesauce. Um, so like Casey mentioned earlier, we've lightened up this recipe a little bit, and the applesauce actually um, helps to cut some of the butter or oil in this recipe. Um, we like using these little cups, too, because you can keep them on hand just in yes. your, um, either in your refrigerator or your pantry, and they're nice for baking or, of course, for snacking, too. Exactly. And then we're going to add in just some sugar, and I'm just going to cream this together. All right, that looks good. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing we're going to add in to this mixture are our eggs. Um, and we've already just whisked these together, um, but going to add these in and cream them. All right, that looks good. Mm -hmm. All right, Casey, you're gonna, we're going to add these in yes, here. Yes, yes. Got our bananas and Take ginger it. mixture. Awesome. Oh, it smells so it? good. Already so tropical. So gingery. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Let's start cream these together. Oh, we actually need to add into our vanilla mm -hmm. and our Greek yogurt. Yes. Just plain Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. And that also helps to add a little of the creaminess um, so that we don't have to use as much butter. Yes. All right, I'm going to cream these together. All right. All right, so now I'm going to get started mixing our dry ingredients. So we have some all-purpose flour and whole wheat flour. Um, we have the combination um, to kind of up the nutrition a little bit, but um, the, if you use, you can use all whole wheat flour if you want. It's just going to make it a little bit more of a dense muffin, um, but you certainly can. We're also going to add baking soda and salt, and I'll whisk those together. Awesome. And while you're doing that, I'm going to fold in our last couple ingredients. Um, so we've got some, just some shredded unsweetened coconut here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fold this in. I'm going to leave a little bit extra out for Casey to top our muffins with. And then we've got just some pitted chopped dates, which add a nice sweetness to this recipe. Mm -hmm. I love dates. I do too. And you, you could certainly substitute any dried fruit for the dates if you wanted. Um, the dates are pretty mild, um, just adding, you know, that sweetness like you mentioned. Yes. And then I'll go ahead and add our dry ingredients. Perfect. And we're just going to fold this all together until all of our flour is wet. All right, and so to pan our muffins today, we have a muffin pan that we've lined with muffin liners or um, paper. You can certainly not use those and just spray it with cooking spray. That works as well. Awesome. All right, this looks pretty 
Good. Just make sure everything is nice oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. wet here. I can still smell that ginger. Oh my gosh. It along with the banana and the coconut. So good. It looks really nice mm -hmm. too. Awesome. All right. So we're gonna fill up our mm -hmm. muffin cups. And we wanna fill these actually almost full. When we tested them, we tried like two thirds full and they don't raise all that much. Um, so if you want that nice muffin top, we like yeah. to write, um, fill them almost to the top. A little bit more. Sure. There we go. <laughs> and as Lauren mentioned earlier, we're going to be topping with just a little bit of extra unsweetened coconut along with our slivered almonds. Today we have slivered. You can certainly do sliced almonds um, or you can omit them, of course, as well. These are perfect for warmer weather months. You just have lots of good flavors. Yes. And easy for grab and go breakfast in the morning. Mm hmm. You pair with some yogurt for a complete breakfast or yep. some fruit. So, um, when Casey's done topping these, these are going to bake in the oven. Um, 375 for 20, 25 minutes. Um, just kind of keep an eye on them. Um, they, like Casey said, they're not going to raise a whole lot, but once they kind of get brown on the top, and then you can also insert your, um, your wooden either toothpick or um, stick in there and make sure it comes out clean. Yes. These look good. They do. Let's give them a try. Yes. <laughs> Yum. I want to get some of the top here. Oh, yeah. All that good coconut. Take some off. Mmm. This with a cup of coffee. Perfect. Perfect morning. Mm -hmm. We'll start your day on the right root with these <laughs> tasty muffins. <laughs> and to get this recipe on your phone, text MUFFIN to 78402. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit bestfoods.com.